Howdy lads, so welcome back to another Gate to Hell tutorial, or guide. This is for the US Army, so the latest faction released. Um, basically, I'll give you the details regarding how long they take to reload, what ammo they got, how far they shoot, and at the end I'll tell you what the best three in my opinion are. So let's get into it, we'll start with the 60mm mortar. So this thing comes with 45 HE shells, um, pretty low calibre. Um, but they are good just to hold a position. Um, they take 2.8 seconds to reload. So pretty quick reload time if we jump into it. So you can pump out a lot of rounds with these. It's like quite handy, uh, these little mortars. I don't mind them. They have a range of 140 metres or 139.9 if you want to get technical. So good little unit. I do like the mortars, I, especially in PvP. Um, I'm quite a fan of them, but even in Conquest, they're good, especially for shooting over headrows and that. Moving on, we have the 81mm mortar. So, this one comes with some light HE shells, 25. Comes with 5 heavy HE shells. And it comes with 81 smoke, so the uh, phosphorus ones. So, let's have a look at the difference between a heavy shell and a light shell. Loading round! So this is a gun light ready. shell. Reloading gun. Pretty standard mortar. Guns. And then we'll go heavy. Loaded. Oh, a fair bit better actually, the heavy shells. But you only get five of them, so it's something to watch out for. These have a reload speed of 5.2 seconds. So all of the testing I did, um, I did before this obviously, but I had shot them twice and timed it. So it's an average of two times. So it might be a little bit off, but they're relatively close. So 5.2 seconds. And it has a shooting distance of 159.9 meters. I lie. Reloading. There. 159.9 meters. Um, one thing to watch out for with the heavy shell, I didn't actually realize. But they actually have a distance of 139.9 meters. So you can't shoot as far with the heavy shell, which makes sense. Didn't actually know that till then, so something to watch out for. Uh, moving on though, we have the 4.2 inch mortar. So this thing comes with 15 HE shells, 5 white phosphorus. So you can, for those of you who don't know, you can actually build a little sandbag around your mortars, your machine guns, etc. You'll see it pop up in a sec. Most of you will already know that, but just in case you don't. Um, this has a reload time of 7.3 seconds, so getting up there in terms of reload speed. And it has a distance of 179.9 metres. So, decent firing range. Ready to fire. And a decent explosion. It's almost like the explosions you get from the heavy um, shells with the 81mm mortar. So, decent little unit, but pretty expensive. With the mortars, I'm quite happy sticking with the 60mm. But you could go for the 81mm if you want. And obviously the 4.2 inch up to you. But I do like the mortars, so they're quite handy. I just thought I'd include them in this uh, little tutorial, even though I said artillery. Man, I'm getting Count real. the mortars. Right. So the 75mm M1A1. So this comes with seven, 34 75mm HE shells. Comes with 8 HEAT, cool. so heat rounds. And 8 uh, phosphorus shells. So, these heat shells are very good for taking out tanks. Um, you can get the heavier ones you'll struggle, but medium tanks you can generally take out with the uh, heat shells. They're quite good. It's more of an infantry gun than anything. Uh, well, the howitzer, but it looks more like an infantry gun. But, it has a reload time of 6.2 seconds, so not a bad reload time. It also has a distance of 169.9 metres. So 170 metres. Got in there. They're quite accurate, these things. Um, I do like them. They're for, you know, looping over, over hills, etc. So you can kind of sit it behind cover, behind, let's say, you could sit it here and lob it over and get shots on that building. So good for stuff like that. Uh, moving on, we've yep. got the 75mm M1A1. So it's kind of like an upgraded version, the looks of it, with the M3A3 
carriage. So the other one had the M8 carriage, which I think is what it's actually being wheeled around on. Um, but this thing has a reload time of, let me find it here, bear with me, 6.3 seconds. So pretty well the same as, it's, uh, as the last gun. And it also has a distance of 169.9 meters. So they're pretty well the same. Um, obviously, you get your 34 HE, 8 Heat, and 8, eight Willy Pete. But is that the exact same as the other one? We're ready. Yeah, the exact We're same. Ready. So they're pretty well the exact same thing. Um, one thing to watch out for is obviously that has the gun shield, that doesn't. So a little bit more protection uh, with these guys. But to me, it seems like pretty well the same gun. Awaiting and then we've got the 105mm howitzer, so the M2A1. This thing's quite good. Comes with 20 HE shells, 5 smoke rounds, and 5 heat shells. And it has a decent range, actually. It's got a range of 359.9 metres. So let's get... 359.9 meters happening. This is with the HE shells, so with different shells, it'll be slightly different. Um, where are we? There we go. So, right there. Gets a pretty decent explosion. It takes 15.7 seconds to reload, so a fair bit slower. We're starting to get into the more slower artillery now, or the slower reloading artillery, but Quite a good unit. I'm pretty sure they're they're not that far through the research tree, so um, feel free to go have a go of it. Quite good. Scanning ready. But moving on, we have the 105 mil power to the M3 model. So this one is a little bit quicker on the reload. It's 15.6 seconds, but again, that could just they could be the exact same. It's just my ability to hit the stop button on the stopwatch wasn't as good. But it comes with 20 HE, five smoke, and five heat shells. Much like We're ready. this one. Ready. Um, doesn't have a gun shield, so watch out for that. But it's got decent range, 314 meters. Not as much as the previous one, so I'd probably prefer the uh, the M2A1 howitzer. But 314, if we can find it, roughly there. Get the shot off. I don't really know if that's any bigger than the uh, than the previous one. Tell you what, let's have a go. When it reloads, we'll uh, I'm just gonna sandbag it so I know where I'm up to. Ready right. to roll. But let's see which one's bigger. So what I do hit that. The American sky. This really sucks. Ah, oh, they're pretty well the same. So. If it was me, honestly, I'd probably just go for the one that's quicker to get on the research tree and just hold it that if you wanted to stick with those guns. But you'll want to go for the bigger guns because the bigger guns are quite cool. Moving on to the 4.5 inch uh, M1. So we're starting to get into the more extended reload speeds. This has a reload speed of 20.8 seconds, which isn't that bad for a gun of its size, uh, honestly. It also has a very good distance of 454.9 meters. So you can get range with this thing, which is quite good. Where are we? There. So we'll get a shot off. Bang. You can pretty well shoot straight across the map uh, with this 4.5 inch gun. Quite a good gun. I quite like it. Comes with 20 HE shells. So. It's going to be a fair bit to resupply, and you don't get a lot of ammunition with it. Obviously, you only get the HE as well, so something to watch out for. But quite a good unit. I like it. Um, I wish they didn't have, like, inches as the measurement, because when I was trying to find this on the editor thing, so you can do that and find all your vehicles, etc., USA, blah, blah, blah. But they come up as odd numbers, like 114 mil, um, because they haven't done it for uh they've obviously transferred inches to millimeters but trying to find it in that little section i couldn't 
figure out where the hell it was because it didn't say 4.5 inch. So something to watch out for if you ever look for it at the editor. Waiting order. Moving on, we got the 155 mil howitzer M1917. So getting really slow now. This takes 31.5 seconds to reload. So a whole 11 seconds almost more than the uh, 4.5 inch. It has a distance of 359 meters, so not as far as the uh, previous gun. Where is it? There it is. Slowly creep it up. Doo -doo -doo. Looks like we might be able to get that house. Ah. Oh. Bang. Decent explosion, decent accuracy. Um, the American artillery seems pretty accurate to me so far. Most artillery is reasonably high. accurate in this. The mortars aren't, but I, I've found in this game most artillery is reasonably accurate. You can kind of... What I like to do is if there's... Let's say an emplacement here I can't get past, instead of wasting a whole squad trying to kill it, I just do that and then do other things while that shoots. Um, and then that'll just shoot by itself, and once I see it get killed in the little kill feed, I'll stop it. But, moving on, we got the 155mm howitzer, the M1 variant. So, this has a reload speed of 31.3 seconds, so pretty well the same as the last one. But it has 404.9 metres of range. Um, which is quite good. One thing I didn't do is, you only get 10 shells with this, so very limited ammo. Watch out for that. And same with this, you only get 10 shells, but you get 3 smoke shells. And 3... HCBE shells, so I guess we just wait here. They're like different kinds of smoke shells, essentially. Um, let's chuck one in and have a go of it. I'll do it after I've taken a shot. But um, as I said, this has a distance of 404.9 meters, so we'll uh, get a shot off so you can see. And again, the smoke rounds will be different. Bang. So let's load in a smoke round, these HCBE shells. I'm not quite sure what the difference is, if I'm honest, while that's loading. Get ready to send rounds down range. I'll have a gander at it. It's cool how they all kind of do stuff. It'd be nice when they can um, like make it so it actually picks up a shell, hands a shell to him, hands a shell to him, pushes it in. I don't know if we're, we're at that stage in gaming yet, strategy gaming, but be cool loaded all right that's loaded so let's do a shot here why not so perhaps this is just smoke that can't um like doesn't light stuff ablaze so wp Man, so that says really wp as well wp i assume maybe the other type of shell is the one that can light stuff on fire, and that one isn't, maybe. Not 100% sure, but either way, yep. moving on. Any of you have some water? We've got the 155mm GPF M1918 M1. So, this gun comes with 10 shells, so again, you're going to go through lots of supplies if you use it a lot. Um, has a reload time of 31.5 seconds, so the same as the previous two pretty well. Um... All the 155 mil guns have pretty well the same reload speed. This has a pretty awesome distance of 454.9 meters of range. So if we can even get it there. So awesome range with this thing. I, I believe this was the French made cannon or the same as the French cannon that they used in World War One. I. I think. Not quite sure. Quite an awesome little unit. A uh, lot of range, it just will be very costly uh, to resupply, so I wouldn't go using the guns like this heaps in your playthroughs, because you will find that you run out of supplies very quickly. Um, but moving on, we have the 155mm M1A1 Long Tom. So, don't know why it's called the Long Tom, um, but it comes with 10 HEs, Three APBC HEs for dealing with tanks, quite handy. Um, although 
I don't know if you really want to be dealing with tanks with this thing, because you get one shot off if you miss. It's going to take a wild reload. Uh, 31.5 seconds to be... Uh, sorry. One minute, three seconds to be exact. Um, then you get, obviously, the three uh, smoke shells. Uh, this has, as I said, the reload speed of one minute and three seconds. So these two have stupidly long reload speeds, um, which kind of hurts them a little bit. But this gun has the longest range in the game. Um, I'll have to go this side because it doesn't actually reach that side. So bear with me. But... You'll see the distance in a second. The distance is quite large. It's, it's awesome, I think. If I can find the... Uh, there it is. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So, 504.9 metres. Awesome range. You can literally hit everything on the map. But, be aware, it takes a long time to reload. A very long time and you don't get too many uh, shells with it so resupplying this will suck and moving on to our biggest and you can call it biggest or best I don't think it's the best but the biggest one this is the 8 inch howitzer the M1 has the longest reload speed of 1 minute 13 seconds um, and it has a decent range of 424.9 meters so Bear with me while I get that. Some of the artillery is a bit funny. Like, you have to come back and slowly bring it up. You can't just have it out there and have it do it itself. So, 429.9. Where are we? 424.9, sorry. Not bad. Oh, I don't know why I said 29. It's literally written as 424.9 metres on my, on my notes. We'll get a shot off. Big explosion, you'll do a lot of damage with it. Quite a good gun. It comes with only five shells, so... You know, after five minutes, you've literally used all of its ammo, and it's going to be very, very expensive to resupply. Um, your best bet with stuff like this is to bring a supply truck and resupply with the supply truck before you go back into the menu, because it's cheaper to resupply in-game than it is to resupply in the menu. At least it used to be. I believe it's still the same. But... That's all the arty pieces for you. Now we'll go through what I think are the best. So we'll go through the third. We'll go third best first. Ready. And I think it's the long tom. It's got yeah, really back. crappy reload speed, but 504.9 meters is stupidly um, long distance-wise. You can hit most things um, from your spawn with with this beast. So just because of that, I've given it third best. I think personally. Um, but moving on to the second best, Ready. I believe it's this, the 155 mil GPF. So 155 mil, obviously, so a decent, decent punch. And out of all the 155 mil guns, it has the most range, 454.9 meters, which is 50 meters more than the M1 and 60, well, uh, 55 more than the M1917. It has decent reload time, uh, as I said, 31.5 seconds. Um, I just think purely because of the range, the caliber, and the reload time, this is the second best gun in the game for me. Quite good, does a fair bit of damage. Um, but moving on to the best, in my opinion. And the best, in my opinion, is this 4.5 inch uh, M1 gun. Why I think that? 454 meters of range which is the best until you get to the long tom which was the previous one that i said was second best and then after that there's only uh, uh sorry the gpf and then the only one that's got more range than the 4.5 inch gun is the long tom at 504 meters so the gpf and the 4.5 inch second and uh, the second best and the best gun, in my opinion, both have ranges of 459.9 meters, which is stupidly long. The difference, however, with the 4.5 inch gun, I mean, yes, it's a lower caliber, a small caliber um, round, but it's only got 20.8 second reload time. So for every two shots you're getting off with the 
the GPS, um, you're getting three off with the 4.5 inch gun, which I think is quite good. Um, so I I tend to with artillery I tend to think bang for buck as opposed to the biggest. Obviously, if you want the most destruction, go for the big dog, the eight inch howitzer. But um, as I said, just being able to throw lots of shells at a point before you push it, as opposed to one every minute, is a big advantage. So there you have it, my. But the best gun in my opinion, the medium field gun, 4.5 inch, disregard that, put that on charge. But thank you guys for watching and sticking with me. I hope you found this helpful and I'll catch you guys on the next one that I do. Cheers.